Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. Got the first New Hope figure that I've actually received. Um, these have been out in the United States and some parts of North America and Europe for probably the better part of a month. Um, really starting to just trickle into different outlets in Australia at the moment. So, as well as uh, Boba Fett, which I just reviewed a couple of days ago, um, Dr. Evazan is the next one on the list. And I think I've done, yeah, I've done Bib Fortuna as well from this wave. So yeah, number three from A New Hope, obviously Ponda Baba and Princess Leia Yavin Ceremony are the other ones. So great piece of artwork. Uh, it could have slotted this guy onto a Rogue One card as well. But uh, yeah, I'm glad they went with A New Hope. We've got a bit of the, uh, the bar diorama at the top there, which looks cool. So uh, yeah, I'm being pretty excited to get this one. We're really looking forward to Ponda Barber now to complete the duo. I never did get the uh, the big Cantina playset. It was just far too expensive, like 300 bucks um, on eBay. So I'm glad I waited um, <laughs> to just get the figure. I'm more than happy with this guy. And uh, if I can pick up a loose bar later, I might just do that. So let's crack it open and have a look. All right, here is the ugly SOB himself, Dr. Cornelius Everzan. This figure looks great. Um, he is just as ugly as Sin. Uh, let's just take a nice zoom up look on that face. Yeah. I think a mother would be hard pressed to love that. But uh, it is what it is. <laughs> great figure still, really, really digging it. Looks awesome. So we'll take a nice, nice little look. Accessory wise, he comes with his little blaster pistol which is cool. And I haven't tried putting it in the holster, but it looks like it would fit in there very nicely. You can see plenty of room. Love the sort of, the, the sculpting on his little vest. Not well, sort of big oversized vest, but it's almost like a, you know, Tatooine and leather. Great detail on that thing, looks good. A few pouches on the back there, purple purplish trousers and I can't work out where these are from these must be an older leg because they've still got the pins I'm struggling to think of what they're from just because I don't have all my other figures on site and at hand but he has the boots but yeah still got the pins in the in the joints there whereas they've done away with them over the last 12 or so months give or take so yeah, I'm not really picking where they're from, whether they're old or new. Could be from something sim simple as like a Poe Dameron or something, but yeah, not sure. Doesn't really matter. Um, arms, they appear to be new unless they are reused from Han Solo, but not sure. But yeah, head sculpt looks cool. The uh, color of the paint, obviously they've cast the chest piece in the white plastic and painted on the chest because um, it's just a slightly different shade of cream to the neck and face. Um, you know, look at some, some chest hair there would have just covered that over nicely. You wouldn't be able to pick it, but when it's like that on the shelf, you're not going to notice. So that's not really a big deal, but yeah, really digging the... Digging the sculpt, digging the look of this guy. He's an awesome addition to the collection. Great figure for the Black Series. Really looking forward to Ponda Baba. Walrus Man. Because they're uh, definitely iconic. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please let me know in the comments below. Please give the video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't been here before. If you have, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Always appreciate the support from everyone. You've all been fantastic. Looking forward to some more figures showing up. Hopefully in the coming coming days and weeks, we'll see. So thank you all very much for watching. Until the next video, may the force be with you always.